Tshisekedi, qui n'a plus le moyen de faire la guerre, il veut à ce que d'autres États viennent se battre pour lui, qui meurent pour lui, et il croit que le monde fonctionne comme ça. Tshisekedi n'a pas le moyen de faire la guerre, il veut que d'autres pays viennent se battre pour lui, qui meurent pour lui, Lorsqu'on n'a pas les moyens de faire la guerre, we don't have the means to do the war, on fait la paix. We do the war. Vous savez, tous ces mercenaires qui sont à, à Goma aujourd'hui, oh, que lui-même a été, a, 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 je crois, il a parlé d'environ 1000 mercenaires. Over 1000. Il les a évalués à autour de 1000 parce qu'il parle de 1000. He's talking about thousands. Chaque mercenaire, ça me dit. Each mercenary a cinq mille dollars chaque mois. As five thousand dollars a month. Et le pauvre militaire congolais qui lui met sur les champs de bataille. The Congolese soldiers. Il a combien? He has less than that. Il a cent dollars. Hundred dollars a month. Et vous pensez que ce militaire là, quand il voit cela, il n'est pas révolté? Just think what the military soldier officer can think about. Le jour viendra. There will be a day. Où ce militaire qu'on envoie sur les champs de bataille mourir pour une cause perdue, those soldiers that descend the battlefield to die for, prendra conscience, will get conscience, et à ce moment-là, tu sais qu'il comprendra que il avait choisi la bonne chose. And that time, tu sais qu'il will understand. The Democratic Republic of Congo has signed an agreement on the status of the Southern African Development Community Force, SADC, that is to be deployed in the east of the country. President e. Felix Tshisekedi presided over the official ceremony in Kinshasa on Friday. Deployment of the force was decided at the summit held in Windhoek, Namibia on May 7, 2023. According to the Deputy Prime Minister for Foreign Affairs, Christophe Lutundula, the Congolese government is committed to providing this force with diplomatic facilities required for this type of intervention. A week ago, President e. Felix Tshisekedi informed the government that discussions on the deployment of SADAC troops had reached their finalization phase. On Friday, Rotundula said the agreement signed on November 17th also affects Sadaki's commitment to deploy its force in the east of the DRC and defines the purpose of the mission of this regional force. He said, Sadak Regional Force would be deployed to support the Congolese army in fighting and eradicating the M23 and other armed groups that continue to disrupt peace and security in the DRC. At the most recent Council of Ministers meeting held in Kinshasa on November 10th, President Felix Tshisekedi said the Southern African community had resolved to commit troops alongside the FRDC Congolese army to help the DRC inherit the enemies of our country. The Congolese head of state said the deployment of SADAC troops had been agreed upon in accordance with the principle of collective security in the mutual defense pact of these common organizations, which stipulates Article 6, paragraph, that any armed attack perpetrated against one of state parties shall be considered as a threat to regional peace and security. In response to such an attack, immediate collective action shall be taken. The Congolese government is now awaiting the arrival of SADAC troops while at the same time preparing to withdraw from the East African Community Regional Force whose contingents were deployed in North Kivu and Ituli at the end of 2022 to combat armed groups, particularly the M23. According to the latest decisions by Congo, the regional force and the United Nations mission, which has been present in Congo since 1999, are due to begin their withdrawal next month. A final decision is expected to be taken at the level of the entire East African region at the 23rd Ordinary Summit to be held in Arusha, Tanzania on November 24th. On Friday, President Felix Tshisekedi held a video conference with his Ugandan and Kenyan counterparts, Yoweli Museveni and William Ruto. 
This was one of the president's regular cons consultations with his colleagues in the region concerned with the management of the security crisis in the east of the DRC. Kenya Defense Cabinet Secretary Aden Duwari confirmed that the country signed a defense cooperation agreement in April 2021 that led to the establishment of the Kenya Military Assistance Training Team to enhance the military capacity of the armed forces of the DRC, FRDC, and the Kenya Defense Forces, KDF. Kenyan parliament last year approved the deployment of nearly 1,000 troops for the peacekeeping mission and was expected to spend over Kenyan shillings 4.45 billion to keep its troops in DRC for the next six months. They have since stayed more than the initial agreed period. In April this year, the East African Community Regional Force Commander Major General Jeff Nyega resigned, citing security concerns and a plot to sabotage the mission. In a resignation later, Nyega said there was an attempt to threaten his security at, the former, at his former residence in January. A few force commander a new force commander was then appointed by Dr. Samoy William Ruto. Something from nothing. Life changes just open the door.